Hello, everybody. Happy Tuesday. And today is March the 1st, so we know what that means. Stadia Pro games are released, and one of the Stadia Pro games that came out today is none other than 13 AM Games' Dawn of the Monsters. Now, for those that are regular viewers of our channel, Ninja Guy X and I, on Stadium Connect North, interviewed Alex about Dawn of the Monsters a couple of weeks ago, and... Uh, absolutely fell in love with the game i even heard from several different people there they said you know after i saw the interview uh that you guys did with alex for dawn of the monsters i'm super excited for it well here we are dawn of the monsters day one on stadia stadia pro and we're getting ready to play it so before we go i want to give a special shout out here in the chat i see pycon fusion is here robert Paul, hey Paul, how you doing? Uh, Meshta, thanks so much for joining. Cloud Validation, Miss T22, awesome. Ninja Guy X, so great. Ninja Guy X actually streamed it earlier this morning. I uh, had loads and loads of fun with it, so I'm super excited here. Now, I'll have to tell you a little secret here. I really couldn't wait until the stream to play, so I did play about 45 minutes of the game, but I, I erased it, and we're going to start over from the beginning here so you can experience all the deliciousness from the beginning um and as some of you may know uh one of the areas in the game is toronto so we're going to be taking a look at and pointing out all the canadianisms uh that we see here in the game and trust me even after 45 minutes i could tell you i did see several of those already so let's go ahead and get started and uh, thank you so much, everybody, for joining today. Oh, my gosh. This is uh, super, super fun. Oh, the light in my room wants to play tricks on me here and shut off. Good thing I've got the remote to turn it back on. Sometimes the light will just randomly shut off or come on. Even in the middle of the night, it's, it's so strange. So Dawn of the Monsters here. It's one to two players, but it's local only for the multiplayer. So here we go. We're going uh, starting here solo. And uh, yeah, super excited to play this game and share it all with you. Hey, Blizz, how you doing? Good afternoon. And the first part here is kind of like a tutorial. Reporting here. live from Toronto, where an unexpected horde of Nephilim has breached the walls and is advancing into the new city. With the evacuation procedures underway, a spokesperson from Don reports that their newly formed response team is currently on its way. The team is uh -huh. led by Eiji Murasame, better known as the giant superhero Aegis Prime, who has been fighting the Nephilim for nearly 30 years now. Tempest Hi, Galahad, Serena. the first combat-ready Atom, and her pilot Jamila Sanai will also see action today, providing firepower and tactical support. Aegis and Tempest will be joined by the recently unveiled results of Don's secret research programs, Two Nephilim fighting for our side. These are the well-known Ganera, Terror of the Seas, and Megadon, the Living Volcano. These Ooh. four warriors represent humankind's last hope. And today, we'll see them strike back against the Nephilim. There we go. Like, instantly right here, I already love the art style and the way that they go in the game here. So awesome. Definitely a King of the Monsters, Ultraman type vibe feel to the game. Hey Robert, how you doing? Okay, so we're going to play as the Nephilim here. They've been reclaimed. And we're basically going to turn the monsters against themselves here. As we start out. And like I said... The first, uh, probably about 10 minutes or so, is kind of like a tutorial where you learn uh, your moves and stuff like that. Of course, you go through the level here in Toronto. Um, but yeah, definitely. It is so awesome. Super excited to be able to share this with everybody here. There's the headquarters here high above Earth. Ha, ha, ha. 
Granite saying, I'm going to be able to uh, live out my fantasy of destroying the highway bridges. Yeah, the gardener, right? Here we go. Look at that. Boom. Descending upon Toronto here. There's a CN Tower in the background, which is literally just right out my window here. If I look past the camera, I'd be looking at the CN Tower out my window. Well, that's awesome to hear, Granite. Okay, here we go. New Toronto, mission one. All right, All right here we go. The Nephilim have breached the wall that separates New Toronto from the infested old city. Okay, so right off the bat, I want to start out, if we look here at the bottom, we see Tom Norton's, which is really Tim Horton's. So there's our first Canadian right off the bat here. And we can pick up the buildings and use them as weapons here. We can smash them. Here's our second Canadianism. So here's Ernest Ted's, which is uh, a really a play on Honest Ed's, a longtime store that was here in Toronto for many years that is now closed. But Ernest Ted's, so right away we've got two Canadianisms. All right. Oh, and there we go. Look at this. Over to the right here, the uh, T.O. Maples playoff bound in 2061. This is the year. <laughs> hey, Metal Wolf, how you doing, my friend? So this is so awesome. Already, like, if you're from Canada, especially Toronto here, you'll recognize those right off the bat. And there's some more Tim Norton, some more of the uh, T.O. Maples. Uh, you know references there so and then we've got uh, there's snoots boot the snoot which is roots and down right below it you can kind of see it it's zillers which is zellers uh, a defunct department store here in uh, Canada so it's really awesome to see all these nods to, to, to Canada here I mean of course 13 a.m. games is out of uh, Toronto here so we only expect that, right? <laughs> and there we go. Also, another thing here, a buck a vote. Uh, the, the current premier, the conservative premier of Ontario, had uh, a buck a beer. What did that light want to keep shutting off? buck a beer was his main thing on his campaign. And sure enough, here we go, a buck a vote. Another leaf sign there. Now it says 2065. So there's lots of things. <laughs> to be on the lookout for already. But let's get into some of the action here. Because of course, this is this is all about the game. We're defeating these Nephilim here and bridging them back. We've got uh, light and heavy attacks that we know of so far and also a charge. And once the enemies get low, if they start glowing, you can you can do a move here. It brings it right up here. Execution. When an enemy's health is low, they will start to glow red. Uh, pressing the A button next to a glowing enemy will execute them, killing them instantly. And with the, the monster that I'm playing is now, it rips his head off. And you can actually use it as a weapon against your enemies here. Hey, Jack, how you doing? <laughs> Hunter, oh, yeah. See, people seeing other things that I haven't even saw. 120 kilometers to the next town over. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is so awesome. And executing one bar of rage. Uh, it uses one bar, but it also heals you as well. So let's get over here. I'm gonna get this, uh, pick up this building here. And we could throw it. There's the head. I wanna pick up the monster's head here. So here's the head, the guy we ripped it off. And we can use it to beat the other monsters. And we can also, let's see, get over here. Uh, but yeah, kind of like I saw in the chat there too, Mortal Kombat-ish Kombat 
vibe to it. Here we go. And so the first little mini section of there we've completed. Uh, ranked B, so not not too bad. Keep pushing forward. We have to clear this whole area of Nephilim for the repairs to begin. Okay. So now we've introduced here. We have R1 we can dodge. So let's let's pick up this building here. Smash this. And what I love about this too is like you can do combos. Let me rip his head off here. There we go, 2x combo. Oh, it's over here, laying down over here. I wanna pick it up though. Let's smash here. And I wanna throw it at them. Yep, and so we can use that dodge, to dodge attacks here to get out of the way quickly. And this is just one of the monsters uh, that you can play as in the game. We'll start you off with this one here nicely eases you into things uh, and slowly unveils all the different moves that you can do here oh look at this guy get over here all right let's do it. get over here bam ripping that head right off so satisfying it is completely satisfying oh my gosh <laughs> metal wolf says this is mortal kombat mixed with doom eternal uh, can you do multiplayer couch co-op? Yes, so uh, it's local multiplayer, so two people can play locally. Or if you use the, uh, the little workaround that Ninja Guy X did earlier today, you can play with somebody else. Okay, so now we have uh, R1 to dodge, yep. And we can guard with L1. And it tells you here, guarding directly before impact will parry the attack, negating the damage. But some of those, some of the attacks aren't blockable, so you need to be uh, mindful of that as well. Hey, Game On with Tony, how you doing? Yep, definitely Rampage had an influence when we talked with Alex. Had an influence on the game. Okay, so here's a little guy here. Come on, let's get this here. Let's see if we can. There we go. Blocked his attack there. Parried it. He was strong. We're gonna send him flying. And we have, let's see, can we do a rage here? Here we go. Combo. Sent that, sent that uh, monster back, that Nephilim back. All right. So we guard or tap L1 right before they hit us and you can parry. Okay, let's send these guys down. Oh, look at the, here's parts of the gardener already destroyed the highway over here. Enemies killed, oh, I got D on, the, on that particular area. Oh yes, yeah, much harder than Rampage. Okay, let's see, we're gonna head on to the next section here in Toronto. Good job team. Now begin the offensive push into the old city. Okay. All right, so now we're heading into the old city here. Look, now we can see the the leaves there, the side, the the teo maples. Uh, it says twenty something. I don't know what year it is with the the one at the end there. You get some health here. Delicious, thank you. And I'm all charged up. I'm ready to release my rage attack. I did one of the rage attacks there preemptively. <laughs> But here we go. They're telling you about the rage attacks now. And let's unleash a rage attack here. There we go. Look at this. Send these guys flying and rip his head off. We've got a five, five move combo here. So this is also like similar to like, you know, the beat em up. So we've talked about the games that it's influenced on. But also you think about like Streets of Rage 2 would be similar. Streets of Rage as well, not just number two on Streets of Rage, uh, would be similar. And with the combos here too, it's almost like, you know, fighting games like Street Fighter and things like that come into play. Look, I got an S ranking, so I did pretty good. I think S plus, I think, is the best that you can get. But uh, this is also, so this is, if you're a Stadia Pro member, this is free. But if you're not, it's very, very reasonably priced at $29.99. We know that the US price is $29.99, so we were thinking that here in Canada it was gonna be $10 more, but no, it's $29.99 across the board, so that's awesome too. 
Okay. So now we're destroying all the buildings here, making our way, pushing into the old town of Toronto. There's one last horde on the way, but this one's big. Okay, here we go. Straight through the highway here. All right, let's take this horde on face first here. All right, where are you at? So now we've got Cataclysm attacks here. So we also Rage and Cataclysm. It's like a superhero. We have L1 and R1 when the meter is full. And we do like a super duper attack. And uh, you can also fill up that meter by finding power-ups. Which, lo and behold, look at this here. Here's a power-up right here. So I'm going to unleash my fury here. Come on, guys. Let's see. Oops. Maybe not. Here we go. Uh, unleash my fear. Look at that. Complete destruction here. I love that. I love ripping the heads off of, off of these monsters here. All right. And better yet, insult to injury. Smacking the others with them. Get back here, guys. He was going to attack me. Look at that. Awesome. So I'm watching here. I could do, uh, let's see. Nope, not charged up yet. Just one there. And can I get him? Oh, I was gonna pick his head up and hit him with it. Come on, guys. We're gonna get this here. Smack. Look at this double attack as well. So awesome. Woohoo! Oh yeah, Robert. Definitely, you've got to play this. It's even better than I was hoping for. I can't, oh my gosh, it's so awesome. Yeah, I can't wait for you to play it. And remember, this is only one of the monsters you play as. We're, we're basically like in the, uh, the tutorial type stage of where it's basically showing you some gameplay mechanics. Look at smacking this guy. There you go, die. Let's see, what did I get a rating here? I got an A, pretty good, right? Pretty good. Hey, X Predator. So yeah, awesome music. And uh, when we talked with Alex, um, he mentioned that it's about eight to 10 hours to finish and a, a little bit more if you want to get 100% on everything. Okay, so we've got some more baddies ahead here. Let's get some power up. Here we go, we generated our life here. Look at this, just smashing down the gardener here. Uh-oh, Alpha. Alpha Alpha Macarius. All right, come on, bro. I'm going to do some rage attack on you here. Charge you. Oh, look, he's like like a rhinoceros, kind of. Using that, uh, that horn. I'm dodging here. We're going to pick up this head here. Let's see, we're going to throw it at him. Hey, use your... Your old buddy's head. Whoa. Could have tried to, to parry there. The attack. Oh, he's using that rhino head on me. That's okay. I'm going to send you flying. I'm almost dead. Get go Whew. That was close. Look at my health there. Whew, and I got an S ranking on that one too. That was close. I don't know what the deal is with the light in the bedroom I'm at turning off but good thing i've got the remote here hey craig how you doing thanks for stopping by here taking a look at dawn of the monsters here just released today uh on stadia and in stadia pro here and um it's coming to other platforms later this month in march but uh stadia first here so we finished the first stage here i've got 34 kills 23 buildings smashed rage spent 4,000 damage dealt damage taken there's my score there's the time 11 look at that that was perfect 11 minutes 11 seconds we earned three thousand dollars okay so here we go i love the storytelling in this too like the way that they they went about this the comic book type style the sunrise dawn headquarters like i love oh, this hi ages are you headed for the briefing room too Huh? Oh, hey, it's the pilot girl. You know you're late, right? 
And totally awesome too that they have this stuff voiced as well. That just uh, ups the production value on this. God, yes. I'm actually kind of lost. The sunrise is a bit of a maze when you're new to it. It was an honor fighting alongside you in Toronto, by the way. I still can't believe I'm working with the Great Aegis Prime. Oh, okay. So I see in the chat here, Granite saying, I discovered if your rage meter is low, you can fill it up between rounds by smashing buildings. That's awesome to know. Not as impressive at my normal size, I know. Wait a second. Are you late too? You don't seem to be in much of a hurry. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't, does he? What are he? going to do? Fire me? I call that the zero F attitude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the captain will be happy. Relax, Optimus. It's no big deal. Come on. I'll show you the way. Optimus? Is that a reference to Optimus Prime? All right, here we go. Welcome, Jamila, AG. Congratulations on a successful first mission. Woohoo! This is just the beginning of the operation to take back Toronto. Tomorrow, we're planning to go further into the city. Any questions? Nope, well, I don't have any questions. No questions, man. But I'd like to say how honored I am to be a part of this historic moment. We'll give it our all. That's right. Uh, you'll give it your all. I'll be focused on <laughs> making sure you don't get killed. Leon, this team is still looking a bit green to be out in the field like this. Encouraging words noted, AG. Luckily, I'm confident enough for the both of us. There we go. Claire, confidence here. Is seeing Megadon and Gnera being put to the test? A scientific development of this scale has not been achieved since the slicing of bread. <laughs> I love Victor here. And it'll be a great opportunity to learn more about the Nephilim. Ooh, maybe we'll even discover a new species down there. <gasps> How intriguing. So I love too that each of the, like on the characters above him, it'll tell you, you know, who it is. So Sophia here is the head of intelligence and manager of the archives. Very nerdy. So that's awesome. It helps you, you know, get to know each of the characters. While we plan our next mission, AG, Jamila, please accompany Dr. Ivakin to R&D. He's got something to show you. Oh, so we're going to go over to the R&D here. Ah, AG, Jamila, thank you for coming. I have an exciting new discovery to show you. If you'll join me in the R&D department. Sure, let's head over to R&D. Okay, so we're gonna go to R&D. We're gonna go to inventory. Okay, selecting Megadon here. So now it says, select a slot. Make sure to equip everyone in the team. No one should face the Nephilim unequipped. So each of these uh, monsters here uh, has sl augment slots. We isolated some new combat-focused mutations into extractable DNA augments and have added them to our inventory. Hey, Zero Games for me, how you doing? Allow me to demonstrate, please. Uh, select an augment you'd like to equip to Megadon. Okay, so on Megadon here, uh, this is giving us an overview here. It'll tell us um, when you look at it, it tells you the perks, the primary abilities, the secondary, sorry, primary attributes, secondary attributes, and also the tier. So the higher the augment tier, the stronger the stat. And what's really cool here too is if you don't like the particular stats of that perk, you can re-roll um, but you could get better stats there, but it's also going to increase the cost of that augment. Uh, and so it shows here, your inventory is made up of three augment slots, each of which can hold up to 100 augments. If a slot's inventory becomes full, you'll need to make space by selling augments before you can add any new ones. Each character can equip three augments at a time, one per slot. Augments can be equipped by any number of characters simultaneously. So it's not just like one can only have this, like multiple of the monsters can have it. Character tags appear at the top of equipped augments. Okay, 
So now here we are with our, our first um, place to equip and augment here. So we've got uh, the landing a heavy attack in two increases attack speed by 15%. That's both of them here, so it's nice and easy. <laughs> yes, you can tell that Megadon feels the changes. He's got the strength of an armored tiger. <laughs> Quite like a tiger. Ah, that's all for now. If you're having a tough time, remember to come over to R&D to equip better augments and buy upgrades. Alrighty. So we're done with that here. So you can see they do a really good job in, you know, the first part of the game here, getting you familiar with everything and, and showing you the, how to do the moves. Don't forget to equip everyone on the team with augments. Okay, so we've got the little exclamation here. So definitely we need to go back here and we're gonna go into the workshop. Uh, select an item. We're also developing some aesthetic upgrades for your team. You gotta look good to be out there. So you can have different uh, costumes for each of your characters here. I'm gonna go with Megadon Palette Evil. We're gonna confirm that. There we go. We use that money that uh, we earned in the game here. And it's saving. All right, new data file available in the archives. Ooh. A new gallery has been unlocked in the gallery. Okay. So let's go to the archives here. See you there. Welcome to Ark. Bless you. Stupid dust allergy. Let me start over. <laughs> Welcome to the archives. This is where we keep all of Don's files on Nephilim, Nephilim-related incidents, team profiles, any significant information. Or it was, at least. The databases were wiped shortly before Professor Goromaki's disappearance, and we're still in the process of building it up again. Mm, okay. But if you check back in once in a while, I'll be happy to share any newly filed information with you. Alrighty. So this is, you know, the different intel for each of the monsters, Megadon, uh, the, the database, Aegis Prime. So these are people, you know, that we've met here. So you could go Aegis Prime, and it's going to give you info on Aegis Prime. Is Don's original agent a human being capable of transforming into a 55-meter-tall giant? I'm not going to read everything here, but as you can see, lots of background. Look, they're born in Vancouver. In 2042, look at that. Tempest Gal had, and I, again, I love this art too. I would love like a print of this. This would be so cool. Uh, Claire from France, Victor from Russia, Sophia from Colombia. So lots of good information, uh, ongoing research here. Uh, the, the, the disappearance of the doctor Metal Wolf, yes, uh, 13 AM Games is uh, right out here in Toronto. So that's why Toronto's in it. And there's a lot of Canadian stuff as well. Now, where did I put that book? I could swear it was around here. Okay. And I think, and you can see like here's options here, English. There's also a, a manual as well in the game for each of the sections if you want to reference it here. Again, I'm not going to go through everything, but you can see here lots of info on uh, how to play the game, some gameplay techniques and whatnot. Oh, hey, Michael. Yep. So Michael's right here in Toronto. Uh, yeah, when we talked with Alex a couple of weeks ago, very, very nice, uh, very awesome awesome individual and so so great to to hear that this game was coming to stadia okay so oh, the archives here awesome uh let's see I'm not sure what else it was looking for i think we can no go here okay so let's Let's go on here. In, so into the breach is what we completed here. And now we're going to go to scavenger hunt. Find the source of the radio signals. 
and this is where we can pick our our character so i could choose megadon if i wanted to um but i think i'm gonna choose somebody different here just so we can get a a nice uh feel how about Aegis prime since Aegis is the og so we'll go here and we're gonna select an augment for Aegis here uh heavy attack um we'll go with this one okay and slot two we're gonna go with either the doom herald let's executions build cataclysm meter or parrying grants two full bars of rage i'm gonna go with executions build the cataclysm meter and our third augment brutal momentum executing an enemy grants invulnerability for three seconds or Parrying deals 200 damage back to the attacker. Mm, I'm going to go with the parrying. Okay. And I think we're ready to go here. Hey, homie Drew, how you doing? Okay, and we're ready. Ready, Eddie. Let's go. But yeah, I love that the manuals include it there and with it as well. So now we're making our way through Toronto here. We got to find out uh, what's causing this this mysterious signal here. So here we are, AGS Prime. Uh, so now we're telling Rage Attack Two characters can perform a secondary Rage Attack. Awesome. So here we go. We picked up some encoded radio signals not far from the area you cleared in Old Toronto. Your mission is to find the source. And I love how, like, if, look, if you are you see us walking around here, stuff's just at, at our feet. Oh, and I think if I see down here, I don't know what that sign is for, for a second. I don't know if that's home hardware on top of that building. I'm not sure if that's what it what it is there, but we're, I think so. And uh, Michael's saying, Fundamentals is his favorite augment in the game, especially on AG Super Speed. Yeah, I love that the CN Tower's there in the background. Like I was mentioning earlier, like, if I look just right beyond my camera out the window, the C my CN Tower, like, the real CN Tower is just right there, too. So, it's so awesome. It's, like, basically, like, playing, the game takes place outside my window here. Okay. Let's pick up part of the buildings here as we smash through. Be able to use our rage attack. All right, come on, bad boys. And you can see Aegis Prime is a, a lot quicker. You know, smash this. I love that overkill here. Nope, we don't have it charged up yet that we can use it. There we go. Send those guys flying. And you'll see that uh, my move here, once they're flashing red, if I don't kill them, instead of ripping their head off, so I do like a, the super kick here. And there we go. Send him flying. All right. Kick, kick, kick. Get out of here, guys. Oh, I should have parried that attack. That's okay. We can use the dodge to get out of there. There you go. Let you charge and kick through that. There we go. I'm going to attack... Oh, there we go. A heavy attack. A big boot overkill. Look at that. Look at that sweet combo. And let's finish them off here. Can we do a rage attack? Not yet. I got to charge it up here. Five combo. Here we go. There's Tim Norton's again. They're all out of hockey cards. Roll up the rim starting soon at Tim Tim Norton's. Okay, let's break this down. So we've got the wall here. There we go. And it's even like satisfying. Look at that. It just crumbles as you destroy it here. So definitely incentive to uh, take out your environment here. Uh oh, some stro. <clears throat> All right. Okay, my rage attack. All right, we're gonna do a rage attack here. 
There we go. Look at that. Send him flying. And that little bomb, or that little thing that that monster spits out, you could pick it up and throw it back at him. And it'll explode on him. Let's get over here. There we go. So I'm going to pick this up. Look. Throw it back and boom. It explodes. These guys are... Are getting the beats. There we go. Send him over. Block that. Dodge it here. Look at that. I love. Look at that. Sending a couple of them flying at one time. Ah, oh, watch out. You little. There we go. Send him going home. Smash with a heavy attack. Oh, they're trying to go throw it. That can explode in your hands, too. Look at that. Overkill. Oh, I got a B. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right. Here we go. Making our way through. So. Awesome. Totally enjoying this. This zone was evacuated here. ages ago. There should be no one here. Sophia, check if Canadian forces have any units in the area. Okay. We're going to see if the Canadian forces have any of the units. Look at this. Just destroying Gardner here. A reminder of my rage attack, but let's pick up some of these buildings. Smash. Kick and punch. All right, here we go. Oh, I thought... I thought you little sneaky cheeky. Overkill there, but get out of the way. I don't want it to explode on me here. Look at this. I just love killing all these Nephilim. Whoa, he's trying to throw that. Go, 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 throw it. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Aegeus Prime. Okay, let's pick this up here. And let's, we're gonna use this to beat against them. Come on. Or, or maybe not, maybe I'll just drop it. <laughs> there we go, kick, look at that. Kick to the head. I'm gonna move out of the way because I see he was coming to charge me here. There we go. I'm gonna use some of that rage. Ah! Pick this up. Can I get this? Yep, I'm gonna throw this at you. There you go, buddy. You got one left here, so I'm gonna do. There we go. Combo. Look at that. Uh oh. I could do my super duper. The signal seems to be coming from an abandoned building up ahead. Okay. Here we go. Smash, smash, smash. Abandoned building head. I'm just waiting to unleash this here. Come on. Throw your little bomb at me here. I better get going because I don't, don't want it to explode on me. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that. That's devastating. Holy macro. Look at that. Overkill. No. Go, go. Oh, I knew I was going to get hit by that here. Can I pick this up and get out of the way? Go. There we go. We have our different rage attacks that we can use to. This guy's a cheeky. Let's let's see. Can we pick up? There we go. Okay. You're going. Knocking the building down. Oh, look at that. What did I get here? S. Pretty good, right? Hey, Anthony. How you doing? What's my first impression so far? Freaking awesome, dude. I love this. If you like... They don't have anyone down there. It must be scavengers. Hold on. No time for questions with a swarm incoming. Protect that okay. building team. So there's a swarm incoming. You gotta protect the team. Anthony, if you like beat em ups and like, uh, you know, games. And it, this also has um, like different moves and combos that you can use too. So I, I know, Anthony, you're going to love this game. Let's see here. All the different characters, too. You can augment them as well with different abilities. They all have their own moves, too. Sweet uh, art style as well. Great music. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, <laughs> you were 
trying to get me here, so let's see if we can make it past these guys here. This huge swarm horde. Look at us. Help! Help! So we've got to save these people in the buildings here. Uh, well, maybe in the future, Anthony, that they'll add online to it. But uh, I know when we talked with Alex, he said that was just something that didn't happen. Of course, you know, the pandemic and everything. So it was something that uh, didn't happen. But, you know, depending on how well the game does, it's uh, they could add additional content and features in the future. So we can enjoy it here now. There we go. Look at that. Over. Look at us sending those monsters flying. 100%, even if this wasn't Stadia Pro, Anthony, I'd be buying this game. I think it's really awesome. Uh, priced great as well. I mean, of course, if you got Stadia Pro, you get it free included, but if not, $29.99 perfectly priced in my opinion there we go all right come on help we gotta save these people here there we go send him flying there we go that's it come on juggle combo oh i got him that's good aegis prime for the win look at that Hi -ya! i love that 42 enemies killed. This level we did it in 9 minutes and 28 seconds. Look at that. A ranking. Pretty good. So we can see S and S. S plus is, is the cream of the crop here. Okay, so now I get two augments to continue here. Last stand. Gain 30% attack speed and 100% critical chance. That's, uh, I'm, I think I'm going to use that one. And... Oh, look at that. While performing light, light attacks, you're resistant to being stunned. Or landing light attacks increases the damage of heavy attacks by 20% for three. I'm using that, because that would be a good combo. What the hell are those people doing down there? Having a picnic with the Nephilim? <laughs> yeah. They're scavengers. They use illegal tunnels under the walls to salvage abandoned goods. <sighs> Needlessly endangering lives all this. Fuck. Will they be punished? They're Let's in see. custody. Oh, but they're in custody now. We got them. Exchange for intel on the Nephilim territory. Yeah, let's see if we can get some info out of them but as well. There's more than one way to lose to the Nephilim, Jamila. You should know that better than anyone. Everyone's trying to survive, kid. Let it go. All right, here we go. Whew. All right, so let's go into the chat here, and we can get a little bit of uh, info. We're going to talk with uh, the doctor. Ah, AJ, my friend. Is something the matter? I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out this whole team thing. I've been fighting these monsters for over 20 years, Victor. Now I'm suddenly expected to fight alongside Megadon and Ganera. It doesn't feel yeah. Right. Zero games for me. It does, I, I like the music too. And it won't, so long as you think of them as these monsters. Think of them as uh, as no different than the atoms or your Sheol powers. We are using the enemy's weapons against them. Yep, the enemy's weapons we really against them. Using them though. How do I know Megadon isn't going to suddenly turn against me? Project Raven is a marvel of science, AJ. I promise <laughs> you have nothing to fear. Okay, and Jamila and Doctor Crusus oh, here. Miss and I. Is there something I can help you with? Please, call me Jamila. I'm looking for any information we have on Nephilim behavioral patterns. Well, that is good to hear, Anthony. You're excited to play. Hopefully, as soon as you get off of work there, you can crack into uh, Dawn of the Monsters here. It'll be interesting to see what you think about it as well. Really? Oh, that's such an exciting topic. The Nephilim are such interesting creatures. Anything specific you're looking for? 
mostly weak points to exploit in battle. I'm, uh, looking to optimize my tactics. Oh. All right. Oh, of course. Our files are still a bit of a mess from Professor Maki's disappearance, but I should have something. Let me check. By the way, your piloting skills are amazing. It must have taken a lot of hard work to be able to move like that. Six years of training. It'll be worth it now, though. I've wanted to serve a greater purpose for a long time. And with Galahad at my side, I think I'll finally be able to do it. All Trust right, let's me, see here. You're already making a big difference. Uh, hey, I think I found something. Well, let's see what Sophia found. We can go to the archives here. The biology. <clears throat> so Nephilim biology. Most Nephilim range between 40 and 70 meters tall. They do not eat or sleep, nor do they reproduce by any indefinable means. All analyzed Nephilim are shiro infused and none have been carbon based. While early, the first wave Nephilim show signs of organic matter. Most later variants contain none, and their DNA bears little resemblance to that of any known creatures. Radioactive dating of Megadon and the other first wave of Nephilim suggest they're around 3,000 years old. Applying the same method to emerging Nephilim, however, points as far back as 300 million years. This must be an anomaly caused by the unknowns in their biological makeup. Wow. Look at this. So we have Nephilim 1. Boy. Lots of... Tells us now about that energy. So a lot of background and, and information on, uh, you know, the different terminology and stuff that they used here. I'm not going to read it all here for the stream, but uh, at least it's there. Oh, here we go. What do they say about Toronto? In response to nesting day, a massive series of walls were constructed by Don Canadian forces, separating the compromised area from the rest of Toronto and preventing attacks from the lakeside. New Toronto has since grown outside of these walls, relatively safe from the Nephilim invasion. On the other side of the walls, the overrun old Toronto contains 50 square kilometers of what used to be the city's bustling core. Atmospheric anomalies now commonplace in old Toronto include semi-regular occurrences of thunderstorms and blizzards. Due to these anomalies, our drones and satellites are unable to get trustworthy information, so our no knowledge of the going-ons within these walls are limited. <clears throat> wow. All right. Let's go here. We're going to go to Mission Select. A new mission for you. Okay. Boxing match. Save the trapped research team. Oh, boy. This is going to be interesting. Nathan Phillips Square. Yeah. Hey, Death Life. How you doing? Okay. The scavengers you rescued have provided us invaluable info. They've been deeper into Nephilim territory than our drones can reach. All right, A let's see. A research team led by Dr. Ivakin requested permission to enter the restricted zone to verify the data. Against my better judgment, I let them go. Uh-oh. Why did them go? Ago, we lost contact. If anything happens to them... Understood. No. Head out right away. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to, we're gonna again switch switch it up. I'm gonna go with uh, Ganera. I think that's how you pronounce it here. So let's select. Let's put an augment here. Landing a heavy attack increases speed. We'll go with that. Uh, let's go with gain 30% 30% attack speed, 100% critical chance, 50 move speed. Okay, we'll go with that. And executing enemy grants invulnerability for three seconds. There we go. We're gonna go to return, and we are ready. Here we go, Ganera. That's it, Ganera. So 
yet, but you can see we're making our way through Toronto here. Save the trapped research team. So heavy hold attack. So now we have new attacks. So we're still learning moves here, unlocking attacks here. So hold the heavy to pour him a heavy hold attack. Okay. I still can't get we'll try that. There's snoots down there. Is this giving anyone else deja vu? No, just me. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Oh, what's what are these? Oh, look at that. We could throw these canisters and they explode. Let's see. Come on. We need to try a, he a heavy fold attack here. Oh, look at that. <clears throat> it takes a, a second or two to charge up, but definitely. Oh, look at that combo. Just diced them. Let's get out of here. These big brutes. Smashing attack. Look at that. That is amazing. It's kind of like um a tur like a, a turtle, right? We've got our claws here, a shell. Send these guys. What do we get on that? We got an S ranking on there. Uh-oh, Victor. Victor. Team is coming to help. This is great news, uh, but please come quickly. There are Nephilim around in our shuttle. Let's just say it's two dimensional now. Okay, I'm gonna get these can. I like throwing these canisters here. So, well, if I if I hit my intended object. Okay, let's get this here. We can dash out of the way. Oh, I can use my, let's use my tack here. Oh, that was nice. Oh, oh, I forgot about those bombs. Kind of like bombs that they throw here. Again, go, go. There we go. Let it explode and hurt them. Oh, he just stabbed me. I'm going to pick it up here. Throw it back, right back at him. Boom. Let's see, what, I don't think I did this. Oh, I actually did pretty good there. Not too bad. Not too bad. <clears throat> oh, who's this guy? What are you doing? Oh, is he a friend? Yeah. You must hurry. Our scanners have found a massive unidentified Nephilim signature. It is headed straight for us. So I've got a little friend here now, it looks like. That's helping me. Or we'll see. Or is this who we're helping to rescue? Uh-oh. Agrox, look at him. A little bit of health here. We just found it for ourselves. Come on! Oh, look at this. Oh, he's doing something. He's charging up. Oh, my gosh. You know what? Fine. You've got to move. I've got to move, too. Come on. I'm going to block that. Pound him a bit. I don't want to get in that blast radius. But I do want to get pick up this. Oh, don't you hurt my friend. I'm sure I have to protect him here. Uh oh, get out, get out, get out. Come on. Oh, he's fighting back. Oh. No. Yes, there we go. Send him down to the ground. Great job, team. The research site should be up ahead. Like my little buddy here. Okay, let's make our way through here to the research site. Something's got lizard breath riled up. Ages. That Nephilim signature is still showing on the scanners. It's getting closer. Damn it. There must be more than one target. Keep moving. We can't let the Nephilim get to the researchers. 
Let's see if I can smash this here. Look at that. Send it falling. So, it says I can regain some health here towards low-powered enemies when their health is low. Okay. So, I'm good here. Get my attacks. And, of course, this is all... Like, we can pick this stuff up, smash it, get points, and we know that it keeps track of things like this. Let's pick up this water tower. Alright, we're going to use this smash against these guys. There we go. Whoa! Gotta watch out for these little bomb things. Smash him. And then pick it back up. Can I throw it? Oh, we've got multiple of them now coming from left and the right. There we go. Heavy attack. And we're gonna use. Look at that. S ranking. Not too bad. Not too bad. Nephilim, Rijavakin, and the others. They won't. Oh boy, let's see. There's Snoots again. Pick this bad boy up. Straight ahead. As if just one wasn't enough. Yeah, exactly. Oh, look at this. Electricity. Are these electrified there? Oh, we broke that so we can get through there. Oh yeah. Okay, so now we're through here. We got these power-ups. We can do our super duper mega awesome. Right? Let's see. Let's see what he does here. Oh, like sends like a tidal wave. <laughs> that killed him all in one shot. That was awesome. That's a good way to clear multiple enemies, right? Get away from my friend here. These guys are huge. He's got pretty good armor. Let's see if we can use our our heavy there. Gotta watch though because uh, it leaves you open to attack. Come on, friend. Let's go. Look at this monster Godzilla hiding behind one of the towers that we just took down and destroyed it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Look at this. Teammates. Okay. So we got 16 enemies on that level. A. 41 buildings smashed. Pretty good. Okay. Uh, let's see. Performing a rage attack increases damage by 10% for 10 seconds. These are different. So level two. Okay, we'll do the parrying. And we're going to go anger management. I love the name of this one. We're going to go with that. So we're making our way through Toronto here. Hope everyone's enjoying the stream. Something by the comments in the chat. It sure looks like everybody is. Health upgrade has been unlocked for purchase in the workshop. Okay. Go to the workshop. Complete more operations to unlock further resource upgrades. You can also unlock new pallets for the agents as you progress. Certain pallets are only available by attaining S plus rankings. Wow. Okay, so let's get that health upgrade. Can we select that? Oh, don't have enough. I only have 6,000. I better save my pennies then. Okay. Let's see if we go into the inventory here. Okay, so Megadon, yeah, so we need to make sure, and this is something the game told, told me to do, but I didn't do it. Gotta make sure everyone's got all their augments here. Last stand. Uh, let's see. We're going to do with 200. Okay, so that's good. That's good. Tempest Galahad, which we haven't selected yet. Tempest will do... Landing heavy attack increases speed by 15%. Uh, 
Executions build Cataclysm meter. Perfect. And Anger Management. We'll go with that. That's good. Okay, so now everyone has uh, their augments installed here. And it's cool because it tells you, uh, like, you can see their stats along the left-hand side as well. So that's pretty cool. Let's go back. Saving. Go back here. Let's see what's in the chat here. Children. See? That's Tempest Galahad, the woman next to Aegis. You were right about her necklace. You see that in the background, Rumbo. Their uh, 13 a.m. game's first game, Rumbo in the background there. Hey, Nomad, how you doing? So a little nod to the team. Uh... Whoa, hey, are you two lost? Do you know them? These two, these two little kids. Do I know the random children we just found wandering a space station? <laughs> no. Can't say that I do. I love it. <laughs> okay, kids, who wants an autograph? I do, I do, I do. These kids don't seem to be too impressed. They're like, Protocol see ya. Protocol doesn't allow children in here. We should report this to someone. Uh, reports lead to paperwork, Jamila. It's right there in the name. <laughs> Besides, what do I care if somebody brings their kids to work? Wouldn't want mine involved in any of this, but that's their call. Yeah, how, how do they get on the spaceship? Wait, you have kids? A boy. He'll be 16 in June. I have a picture somewhere. I'll, I'll show you. Okay. And then we can go to the archives here. And it just tells you the Nephilim 2 uh, information on them. Okay, so let's go let's mission select done. here. Shocking developments. Scout the area for Nephilim, Nephilim might be coming from. Okay, so let's do that Commander here. Commander in chief himself will be arriving to the station soon to oversee the scouting mission. Let's aim to impress. Alrighty, sir. Ma'am, we will definitely impress. Uh, not Bosco. Can I skip the debriefing? In my head in the field believes they've identified an area where the Nephilim could be coming from. We've long suspected that there are nests that spawn more and more Nephilim. Could this be one? Ooh, I wonder where they're coming Let's from. Let's figure it out. Get ready, team. Get ready. Okay, so keeping with uh, checking out all the different characters, I think we're going to go with Tempest now. And Tempest, we've already select double check. Yep, we've, we've got the augments on. Tempest so we're ready to go. Alrighty. Making our way through Toronto. Yep, there was Nathan Phillips Square. So now this is, a, is this up by Casa Loma maybe? Let's see. Tim Norton's again. This is Commander Fosco speaking. I'm excited to see your performance. I know I won't be disappointed. Hey, careful. The area is heavily ionized. It could be a uh -oh. bit volatile. Keep your wits about you. Look at these monsters. I love these monsters in it. They're also like unique here and, and different. Oh, look at that. We got a little bit of electrocution. Whoa. I guess I could have dodged that, right? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I want to see what her... Oh, look at that. Oh, I love that. The finishing move there. Come on. Let's see if we can get out here. Let's do a proper finish. Don't try to spew that at me and then spear me. Hold on. Let me see. L let me get them down here. Here we go. Look at this. Obliterate them with a gun. Okay, come on. There we go. Carry that. No, that was just blocked it. I love this. Oh, she is awesome. Who's shooting that? It's that new enemy here. Is shooting this at me. 
I love that. I love her. I'm calling it finishing move. Right? Can't get enough of that. Oh, it even hurts other people there that are happen to maybe even be behind. Sweet. Come on. A block, get out of the way here. That's her heavy attack. I wonder if I hold down what's oh we, we charge up the gun and it blasts. Okay, so let's see. What are we gonna get here? We got an E. Guess I didn't do too well. Let's see. Can we bash things? There we go. Send that building flying. Smash. Look at that. Rage attack, okay. Yeah, I'll go do a rage attack. Nice. I need to get out of the way. Finish him off here. There we go. Give you the nice kick and boot. Charge this up. I need to get out of the way. I don't want that to explode on me here. I love the rage attack. Well, you got me right in that booty. Charge that bad boy up. And boom. Let's see. Smash. Voltio. Okay. All right. Come on. Boom. Smash that attack. I need to charge up my meter here. <laughs> right on the head combo. Look at that. Sent him flying. Okay, so, so this game will be released on other platforms on March the 15th. So in about two weeks. So here on Stadia, we got it uh, two weeks early, which is awesome. Can't beat that, right? And Stadia Pro. Oh, this is bad. It seems that the Nephilim are adapting to the ionized environment. Okay. All right, here we go. Look at this. Carrying part of that building here. Just smashing other buildings. Birds flying by. Snoot! Snow! Don't destroy the snoot sign. Ah! this guy. Crazy guy. Right through walking, destroying the gardener. Oh no! There's already enough potholes on it as it is. Oh, look at this. Let's unleash my fury. I don't want to... Well, we'll do it. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Overkill. Mega awesome. I should have saved it for this guy here. Come on! Go, go, go! Oh, there we go. Over Look at that. Took them both out here. I'm getting out of here. Yeah, you, you can self self explode yourself, bucko. And he's gone. Bam! Took the gun out here and shot. Insult to injury. Thank you, Ninja Guy X, for that information. Appreciate that. Is someone recording this? This is good PR. Okay, smash that. And we'll get ready for extraction. Uh-oh, one last swarm. So I got powered up. Oh. Oh, look at that. The way that they're bending back on the power lines there and then broke through it. That's awesome. Okay. Ah, I'm almost dead. And there I go. No! wonder where I start. Do I start at the beginning of the level? 
I'm gonna stream for about 20 more minutes here. Alrighty, let's grab that. Wow, these guys really did a number on me here. Yeah, five steps away from the from the health power up too. Get out of here, guy. I'm gonna smack you with that. And can we? Oh, well, we just took the building down. Good thing we didn't hurt the snoot sign. Here we go. Let's juggle that guy a bit. Look at him. We get him flop in the air a few times. I love that. I love that move. I still think my favorite is Megadon's, where he rips the head off of his enemies. But everyone's got their own cool little moves here. I like how you can dash out of the way, so you can make it out of the way in time. Go, 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 come on. Go, get out of here. Hey, I can't see. Oh, I'm loving Crown of the Monsters here. We're a good, what, hour and ten minutes into the game here, and we're still in Toronto. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Okay, my health here. I need a power up. Let's get this here just in case. Is someone, someone recording this? This is good PR. Team, eliminate one last swarm and we'll get oh, ready for Oh boy. I need health here. And it doesn't look like I'm going to be getting any health. Oh, I can use my rage attack. Overkill. Come on, I need health. Give me some health. Please. You're doing pretty good here. Staying alive. Come on. No, I'm not getting shot by that silliness. Nah, I am. But that's okay. So far, kind of okay, right? Oh, I can pick up the lock. Come on. Shoot them. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm not dead. There's health right there. There's health right here. Do not die. No, 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 Come on. There, I got, I got the health. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Super duper. There we go. Holy mackerel, even using that, this guy is a beast. Is he the beast from the east? That's Bam Bam Bigelow. No! I can't believe that. And we sent him flying. Unbelievable. Yeah, close call. C ranking, but you know what? I will take that. I was so close to dying there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. In style. Ah, uh, E-ranking. Pretty low, but I don't care. Okay, dodging increases movement speed by 8%. Execution stun nearby enemies. I like that one. And executions heal for twice as much. Sure. We're all on it. All about the executions, uh, right? The heroes of the day. Another impressive victory. Oh, Conrad. The commander-in-chief. Thank you, commander. A.G., Jamila. Praise is yours. You're the ones putting your lives on the line. Well, thank you. Just fulfilling our duty, man. With all these exciting developments happening, I'll want to see the rest of Operation Toronto up close. 
I'll see you all for the next mission's briefing. Ooh. <laughs> if he wants a close-up view, we should bring him down there with us and give him a front row seat. <laughs> Okay, new data files. Okay, so let's go into the chat here and see, talk about augments. Dr. Ivakin, I'm here to install some of the DNA augments your team has prepared for Tempest. Ah, yes. The engineers told me you wanted to perform the installation yourself. Come, come. Augments are an amazing discovery, yes? Absolutely. About augment installation, though. From what I understand, the Nephilim share genetic structures with the organic components and atoms. But what about agents? Ah, uh, well, uh, not many people know this, but the incident that transformed the AG into Aegis Prime also alters his DNA. Structurally oh. speaking, his body is quite similar to the Nephilim. Really? And that's why he can grow to that impossible size. Exactly. In a way, we are all rooting for the Nephilim, eh? Yeah, that's true. Hmm. You look familiar. Aren't you that <laughs> temp from the Brussels branch? Um, no, Mr. Fosco. I was Professor Maki's aide before his disappearance. I've taken over his work on the Sunrise Archives. Oh, that's right. My mistake. You two look very similar. Really? Anyways, you know, I've never really understood the point of these archives. How exactly does this place help against the Nephilim? It was Professor Maki's belief, and mine as well, that the answers to the future lie in the past. Mm. Our hope was, is, that learning about the Nephilim's origins might help us devise a solution to ending their invasion. Sort of like finding a plug to a drain. Well, what a swell concept. Very interesting. Thank you. You're welcome. Me? I've always been more of a forward thinker. There's no room in the past for the future, dear. <laughs> hmm. The way to deal with the Nephilim is by developing weapons that are stronger than them. Seems like Conrad has a little bit of different uh, ideals here. Ah, but listen to me. Yap, yap, yap. <laughs> I'll let you get back to your thing. Claire seems to think this place is useful, and I suppose I trust her judgment. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, so let's make our way on here uh, no to the next to mission here. Downtown, search and destroy the Nephilim nest. Oh boy, this will be interesting. Let's see here. Welcome. <clears throat> Is everyone excited for the mission? Our scout drones have confirmed the presence of a Nephilim nest deep within enemy territory. Oh, downtown. It seems that the underground tendrils the Nephilim come out of are connected to the nest. Destroying it would likely prevent more Nephilim from spawning. So Toronto could be free of Nephilim by dawn. That's amazing. Oh, we'll see. And what's more? The boost to Dawn's worldwide popularity will be unparalleled after tonight. Good luck. All right, let's see if we can liberate Toronto from the Nephilim. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to go with Megadon. Megadon. Let's Megadon. go. Synchronization complete. Characters afflicted with erode will glow pink and have lowered defense. Okay. Search and destroy. Oh, rage attack three. Characters can now perform a third rage attack 
by pressing the L L1 and B. Wow, lots of different range attacks. We could be making an actual change for once. You mean to Don's worldwide popularity? Ages. What? We've had theories like this in the past. War goes on. Don't get your hopes up. Okay, let's get this here. We need to pick this up. There we go. It's charging us up here. We can use our Rage Attack 3. <clears throat> oh, come on, guys. There we go. Send them flying. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Waltio is here. Oh, look at it. We're right down on Nathan Phillips Square. There's a Toronto sign. And is, is that... Let's see here. Right on Nathan Phillips Square, downtown Toronto, causing havoc. Looks like the sign got knocked over a bit here. I wonder if we can... No, we can't make it up there to damage it some. That's okay. There we go. Do our rage attack. Send them flying. That exploded. Oh, <laughs> wow. Smashing some of the buildings here. We're almost done here. Get ready to liberate Toronto. The wall that they've built. Well, I see you here. Oh, look at that. Spiked them. I think Megadon is my favorite so far out of playing all the different characters and then Aegis Prime. Oh, look at that. Smash. Smash and kill. There we go. Oh, and they explode. Oh, darn. I'm almost, I've almost had it. That explosion really takes a lot away from me. And I think that's, did that just do me in? No. Luckily we weren't too far in. Search and destroy, okay, here we are. We find this nest. We could be making an actual change for once. You mean to Don's worldwide popularity? Ages. What? We've had theories like this in the past. War goes on. Don't get your hopes up. The birdie's flying. Okay, Nathan Phillips Square here, right? By that Toronto sign. Come on. I'm gonna lead him back over here. Rage attack. Okay, come on, big boy. I think we're ready for you this time. There is a lot of Nephilim here. There's a pull in the head off. I love that move. I like his. This rage attacks too. Oh my gosh. Hey Vivi, how you doing? Currently watching you from my car. Technology is best. Hey Victor, how are you? Thank you both for joining in here. We're, I think we're about to beat the uh, Toronto section of the game here. I'm on the fifth mission in Toronto, which will be a perfect end for the stream, so. Let's pick up this water tower here. 
smash it against these guys. I'm in a lot better s status than I was the last time when I died here. There we go. Ah! Get over here. That guy just rammed me. Uh-oh. Things quickly turn sour. sour. Okay. Regain health there. There we go. By executing them here, I can regain some health. You just gotta watch. Oh, well, they don't explode on me. No, no, no. Come on. I can't die. Come on. Go, John. No, 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 no. Don't die. We're not dying. We're not dying. I need... Son of a gun. Oh, I'm still not dead. Shoot. I'm not dead, but I'm super close. I gotta get this. He, this guy can't get me at all. Come on. Okay, let's see. Oh, I need it to. And I just stood there. After I after I cleared the section two. Let me see. Did did it let me go? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We'll see. Nope. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Just by the hair of my chinny chin chin. We find this nest. We All right, we'll, we'll start again here. Forward. We'll try it a few dodge, more times if I die then. Ages. What? We've had theories like this in the past. War goes okay. on. Don't get your hopes up. Smashing the buildings here. You should all fall. Okay, here we are back again. Nathan Phillips Square, Toronto sign there. Send you down. Come on, bad boy. You're just a little chicken. You know who we're looking for? I just can't get hit. Rip that noggin off. Fire. Boom. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm just gonna throw the head. Smacking it at them. Can I use, there we go. That was good. That was awesome. But I got triple explosion. But I, we cleared it. We cleared that. But triple explosion. <laughs> Granted, that's right, that hurts. Okay. Oh, gosh. Unbelievable. Can I pick up? No, I can't go there. Let's see. Making that fall. Here we are. Come on. We've got to do this. Execute to regain the health. Yes. Yep. That's what I'm going to do here. And that guy is flying. Okay, come on. Let's see. Come on. Let's, let's execute him. Execute. There we go. So far, so good. Get away. There we go. I, gotta, I just have to watch because they're going to explode. Some of them explode. Looking at my health here. Come on. No. Okay, so the yellow ones there are going to explode. Get out of here. Oh, these guys are exploders. Oh, I got to get out of here. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm going to send them back. Can I... No. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. I did it this time. I did it. 
Hey, Windstar, how you doing? Whew. Oh, look at this. We're hardcore now. We can run fast. But I don't know. I need health bad. I need health big time. Come on. Captain, the storm's getting bad out here. What's going on? Oh. Dr. Cruz is What was that? There's too much interference. I don't know. My health. I'm still low. Sound good. Oh, there we go. I need this health. I don't want to get hit by that lightning. We can charge this up here, too. Things are getting serious now. Ooh, we can see where the lightning's going to hit. I don't want to go through... Can I pick up? Uh, hold on. We can destroy that, but... Oh. Here we go. I saw... Oh, I got hit by the lightning. Come on. Get out of here. There we go. Rip the head off. We get a little bit of health. Get out of there. Gotta be quick. Yes. This is ridiculous. That's right. Oh my gosh. Somebody come and help me here. Shoot! Here we go. Send him flying. Go, 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 go. He's gonna explode. And I walked right into it. I need to get some health back here. Rip the head off. That's good. Watch out for that explosion. I need to charge up the meter too. There we go. Let's, let's get the head back here. Throw it. Smack it up here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Get away from me. You can explode there. And we got super duper. Here we go. Here we go, everybody. Look at that. Oh, I can't get hit. Watch out. Oh, he's almost done. He's almost done. Come on. Rip, rip it off. Rip it off. There you go. Finish him. Boom. Now that's... I'm, I'm hitting uh, last 30 seconds for that. There we go. That was awesome. Not too bad. Health-wise. Okay, so we've got some health up here. We must be close. Let's keep pushing. Yep, let's keep pushing. Yeah, don't, don't get hit, John. There we go. We charge. No. Gotta get out of the way there. This lightning that adds a whole new uh, element here because you gotta be worried about get out of here i am not dying you can suck it monsters nephilim go 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 shoot poopity poo let's go there we go fire oh, of course he had to explode on me here get out of here oh double look at that at least they can get harmed by it as well. There we go. Pull your head off here. I'm going to use this again. Oh, well, hello there. That's all right. Smack. Whoa. Uh-oh. Two of these big, big baddies. Ah, double lightning. Come on. Oh crap, I don't think have I met my match. I hope I hope not. Come on, get over here. Ah, that lightning. Crap. I think I'm done for it. I don't know if there's any way. Oh, there's one down. I could have used his health though. Or their health. Come on. Do what you're gonna do. Explode. 
Come on. Uh, no. There we go. Nice smack. Oh, do you get him? Yes. Look at this. I got a sliver of health. An absolute sliver. Yes, Cody, it is similar. A lot of uh, similarities to King of the Monsters, too. Oh, there we go. We, we actually did beat it. We cleared the Toronto, all the Toronto levels. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm even choked up over it. Just by an absolute, like, millimeter of hell that I had left there. Oh, my gosh. Unbelievable. Okay, value meal. Executions heal for twice as much. That's definitely worth it. And death dodge. I'm glad Ooh. to see you made it back safely. Our sensor stopped working after detecting a unique signature. It was some kind of flying Nephilim. We're lucky we made it out of there alive. Literally, I am. What the hell, Leon? How come no one saw that thing coming? You know as much as I do. The matter is being researched. We'll let you know when we know something. Oh my gosh. Whew. A rage upgrade has been unlocked for purchase in the new workshop. Well, with that, we're going to go ahead and conclude today's stream. Uh, I appreciate everybody uh, coming out here, checking out Dawn of the Monsters on Stadia, available now. Uh, you can purchase it $29.99, regardless of what country you're in, or if you're a Stadia Pro member, it's absolutely free. And we know Stadia Pro is, is what, $9.99 US, $11.99 Canadian. So it's super worth it. I highly, highly recommend uh Dawn of the Monsters, if you like beat em ups here, and it's got awesome combos, great art style, uh, fantastic music, love the gameplay for sure. I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna be playing more of this later today, uh, not necessarily on a stream, but I, I, I really can't get enough of this game. And a big shout out 13 a.m. games, uh, for bringing this game to Stadia, and also it's not coming to other platforms for another two weeks. So that's great. A little mini timed exclusive on Stadia. So with that being said, thank you so much, everybody. Have a wonderful, let me check over here, wonderful rest of the day. And we will see you all again real soon. Please don't forget, if you enjoyed today's stream, hit the like button and leave me a comment. Thanks so much. Take care. Bevel, bevel. Next level.